Kyoto, the old capital, has many large and small streets. Here, you can discover the deep history and fascinating culture of Kyoto. About 1,200 years ago, the Heian capital was established with the imperial palace at its center. Streets and roads were constructed running north-south and east-west. The streets of Kyoto today are based on this grid pattern. Today's street is Higashi Oji Dori, which runs north-south in the east of Kyoto. This main sightseeing street has many spots where you can experience Kyoto's history and culture. Let's map the diverse charm of Higashi Oji Dori. Hello, I'm Hiroki Sato, and I'll be hosting this episode of Mapping Kyoto Streets. I'm a radio personality at Alpha Station in Kyoto, and I've been raving about Kyoto's magnificence to my listeners for many years. In fact, I was so taken by Kyoto's charm that I eventually moved here 37 years ago. I'm still discovering new things about this city every day. Today, I will show you around the Higashioji Dori. It is an eight kilometer street running north south at the foot of the Higashiyama mountain range in eastern Kyoto. This street has temples, shrines, a university, and a famous park for cherry blossoms. So, it is bustling with tourists throughout the seasons. We will also have the latest information for you. So, let's start here in the north and walk south along Higashioji Dori. This intersection is called Hyakuman Ben, which means one million times. What a curious name. Its name is derived from Chionji Temple nearby. In supplication to Buddha, the sutra Namu Amida Butsu wafts towards us. 700 years ago during the plague, an eminent monk of the temple prayed for the eradication of the disease by reciting the chant one million times over seven days and nights. On seeing Kyoto's harmony restored, the emperor bestowed the name Hyakuman Ben on the temple. The Jodo Sek Temple has an object that is one of the largest in Japan. はい、こちらにございます。Worshippers usually hold the beads in one hand and press their hands together in prayer to Buddha. At Chionji, a group of people sit together in a circle and circulate the large beads in prayer for the happiness of mankind. Today, devotees continue this practice once a month. A special memorial service called Onari Kuyo is held here triennially. According to Jodo teachings, the savior, Amida Nyorai, and 25 bodhisattvas descend to lead the deceased soul to the pure land. The procession reenacts this divine journey in the physical world. The next service is in April 2013. You do not have to wait until then to enjoy a flea market held on the 15th every month. What makes it unique is that all the products sold are handmade. That is the requirement for operating a stall at this flea market. With more than 450 stalls, the market is always packed with people. What's this sign say? Handmade by a 90-year-old granny. Excuse me, who made these articles? The granny made these sandals and colorful scarves? <laughs> Shoppers enjoy finding unexpected bargains at this thriving flea market. Just south of Chionji is Kyoto University with its symbolic clock tower. 
Kyoto University was founded in 1897 with the motto, Academic Freedom. Though the students seem to be going about their business at their own pace, the university continues to conduct world-class, cutting-edge research. This prestigious university has produced many Nobel laureates. Physicist Dr. Yukawa, immunologist Dr. Tonegawa, and others in the field of natural science. This graduation ceremony reveals a lot about Kyoto University. See how liberal it is? Students dress up in bizarre costumes with meat, pots, and vegetables on their heads. Every year, news reports feature scenes of these outlandishly dressed graduates. Kyoto-like indeed. University is not all study. On the Kyoto University grounds is a lovely, reasonably priced French restaurant, which is open to the public. Inside the university's symbolic clock tower is La Tour, a fancy French restaurant that opened nine years ago. This reputable restaurant is also well frequented by tourists. Let's look at their popular dinner course. This elegant dish of asparagus dressed in truffle oil and white bechamel sauce topped with butter roasted scallops is appetizing to the eye and the stomach. The main dish is seared lamb rack with a tart vinaigrette sauce. Mmm, this is mouth-watering. You can almost smell the rich aroma. Dine while absorbing the atmosphere of academic freedom. There are many ways to enjoy Kyoto. South of Kyoto University is a shop that sells one of Kyoto's most famous sweets. Shogo in Yatsuhashi is just off Higashi Ojidori. Celebrating the 300th anniversary of its foundation this year, this well-established business produces and sells a souvenir favorite for many Japanese. This arch-like confectionery is the famous Yatsuhashi, a hard baked cracker made from glutinous rice flour and flavored with cinnamon called Niki in Japanese. The refreshing taste of the cinnamon spreads in your mouth and its aroma tickles your nose. The name Yatsuhashi originates from the name of a famous blind koto player from the Edo period, Yatsuhashi Kengyo. After Yatsuhashi's death, one of his pupils created this suite, shaped like a koto in memory of their master. The most popular variety at the moment is Nama Yatsuhashi, a smooth red bean paste wrapped in a raw, unbaked Yatsuhashi. The standard flavors are cinnamon and matcha green tea. Oka is a cherry blossom flavored variety only available in the spring. The cherry leaves mixed through give the Yatsuhashi a refreshing aroma and slightly salty taste. The perfect spring confectionery. Just south of here, Higashi Ojidori crosses Race and Dori. In the spring, I recommend a ride on a narrow boat to people who want to indulge. At the intersection of Higashi Ojidori and Rei Sendori, the cherry trees along the riverbanks burst into pink in the spring, a delight to the eye. Take in the beauty of the cherry blossoms on narrow boats called Jukokubune that travel from upstream. The gracious three-kilometer cruise takes 30 minutes. Feel the spring breeze on your cheeks and enjoy the cherry blossoms from water level for an unforgettable experience. Enjoy Kyoto at the height of spring and the sprouting greenery of early summer. Further south along Higashi Ojidori is a shop with a slightly unusual Norden curtain out front. Let's go inside. Ichizawa Shinzaburo Hampu is a bag shop established more than 100 years ago. All their bags are made from canvas. 
This thick fabric is also used to make boat sails and tents. Durable and waterproof with chic designs, these functional bags are not only popular in Kyoto, but all across Japan. This shop became famous when it began associating with the student alpine clubs at Kyoto University and other institutions. An overnight success, their bags were so much sturdier and more functional than existing mountain climbing rucksacks. Mountain climbers, who are diligent about their equipment, endorse these craftsmen who take pride in their work, getting the job done themselves without compromise. この東吉通っていうのは特にうちらの近所は昔からこう職人の多いとこで、いろんなこうものづくりの現場があって、今あの世の中で大量生産、大量販売でしょ。だけどうちはあの少量多品種やしね、世の中に何種も遅れてるの
People spread the sheets to stake out their spots ahead of their hanami, cherry blossom viewing parties. Some people put their life on hold to ensure a hanami spot. <laughs> you like hanami that much? <laughs> it's true. The Japanese have a passion for hanami. Within the Yasaka Jinja precincts is a 450-year-old restaurant specializing in Kyoto cuisine. Many members of the imperial family, politicians, and financial leaders have patronized Nakamura-ro for centuries. It certainly seems prestigious with its flagstone path to the entrance. We are even greeted by kimono-clad ladies. May I come in? We are visiting the rooms of a historical restaurant. This is exciting. Now this is nice, very classy. This modern Western style room overlooks a Japanese garden, a blend of East and West. Enjoy seasonal cuisine while admiring the seasons. The concept behind this Kyoto Kaiseki course is the height of spring. The dishes use abundant seasonal ingredients and are prepared to bring out the flavor of each. Hassun is a mini feast prepared to bring out the flavor of the sake. When Japanese eat a bamboo shoot, they know that spring has finally arrived. The pièce de résistance is the tofu dengaku. Tofu is smothered with kino me miso, a mixture of soybean paste and mountain pepper leaf buds. Then it is carefully charcoal grilled. Tofu dengaku has been a Nakamura Ro specialty for more than 450 years. The rich aroma of the toasted kinome miso brings out the flavor of the healthy tofu. What a sumptuous dish. How about treating yourself to a meal in a room where you can feel the history? Nakamura Ro has special rooms that bring together Japanese architecture and chic furnishings. In the very back is Kihin Shitsu, the VIP room. Let's have a look at this VIP room. It's at the end of this corridor? What a long corridor. It goes on and on, past the beautiful garden into the very back of the building. Kihin Shitsu was built about 100 years ago, and this corridor is about 60 meters long. We are finally here. It definitely has a distinct stately atmosphere. Kihin Shitsu's art treasures could well be important cultural assets, such as the paintings on the sliding doors by Edo period painter Ogata Koren, or calligraphy by the first prime minister Ito Hirobumi. Influential people gathered here for important negotiations, the stage for historical behind-the-scene dealings. Who has visited Kihin Shitsu? え、ロシアの皇帝最後と最後の皇帝と呼ばれております Big names from around the world have visited this restaurant. Why not experience what it's like to be a celebrity for yourselves? Since we are here, let's take a little detour to see some glittering handcraft nearby. Nene, wife of Shogun Toyotomi Hideyoshi, who unified Japan 400 years ago, founded Kodaiji Temple after his death to pray for his soul. Statues of Hideyoshi and Nene are enshrined in the Otamaya Sanctuary. They married for love instead of political gain, which was rare in feudal Japanese society at the time. Kodaiji is particularly famous for its Buddhist statue dais and miniature shrine decorated in makie lacquer. Designs are first drawn with lacquer, then gold dust is sprinkled over them while they are wet. This technique is unique to Japan. 
Various maquillé works are exhibited in the Kodaiji Sho Museum. Among these are pieces that Hideyoshi and Nene actually used in their daily lives. This pot was used to pour hot water for them to drink after meals. The contrast between the black lacquer and the gold dust is exquisite. This pot was part of their toilet set and was used to carry hot water for hand washing or their morning ablutions. Makie, with its novel designs, was much loved by the samurai in the 15th and 16th centuries. During this period, shoguns who fought their parents and siblings for life or death found time to appreciate art. Do you know what this contains? Amulets that grant the bearer's wish to marry their beloved. They give one to the person they want to marry and keep one themselves. Let's visit the shrine that sells these and grants people's wishes. The shrine is located 500 meters south of Yasaka Jinja. The entrance to Yasui Kom Piragu faces Higashi Ojidori. It's quite busy, isn't it? As well as the amulets, people observe a peculiar custom to ensure their wish is fulfilled. 1.5 meters high and 3 meters wide, the megalith has a hole 50 centimeters in diameter through the middle of it, and it's blanketed with white talismans. This prayer stone grants wishes to make and break relationships. How exactly do worshippers pray here? Let's ask the priest. え、まず、what does this wish say? Be rid of all worldly desire. Marry into a wealthy family. Isn't that contradictory? ま、あの、男女のえ、ま、恋愛というようなね、え、そういうことだけに限らずに、え、例えば、あ、ま、病気との縁を切るとか、あるいはそうですね、悪い、ま、習慣というのかな、あの、タバコとかお酒とか、え
Within the vast precincts is Tsuten-kyo, a stunning bridge that spans a valley. It was originally constructed to ease the burden of the novice monks crossing the valley. Tofukuji is most famous for its blazing fall scenery. The best time to view the colors is from late November to early December. The temple is swarming with visitors, but this beautiful view is not to be missed. Over the bridge is the magnificent Hojo Garden. It uses the Karesan Sui landscaping technique that reproduces flowing rivers and the ocean using gravel and white sand. Japanese gardens were originally created in locations with water, but after Zen temples began creating Karesan Sui gardens, this range of expression spread in landscaping circles. The swirling sand pattern represents the rough seas, and the large rocks represent the sanctuary of a hermit who administers the elixir of life. Most important is what we ourselves feel when viewing the garden. If you calm your soul and give the garden your full attention, they say you will be facing yourself. Our trip along Higashioji Dori ends here. But we have one last thing we want to show you. Let's return to Maruyama Park. Isn't the weeping cherry grand? The pretty blossoms we saw earlier during the day are transformed when lit up at night. It is difficult to resist their bewitching charm. How did you enjoy our trip along Higashioji Dori? With many fascinating places, it sure is a multifaceted street. We saw Higashi Oji Dori in cherry blossom season, but it is a street with colorful charms throughout the year. So why don't you come and experience it for yourselves? Join us again on Mapping Kyoto Streets to discover other fascinating streets.